Hello, it's Phil Thatch, and this may become habit forming. Uh, as the weather is warming up this spring, it's becoming easier and easier to find bugs at work. I haven't even done any trying to find bugs at work, and well, I found this creature, which I don't even know what it is, and I also found a snail that's very similar to the snail that was uh, the, the thumbnail for my macro adventure video. I don't think I'm going to make a photograph of the snail because I picked it up and put it in the container and it's drawn up into its shell and I don't think it will be coming out so I'm probably just going to release it outside. But this other bug I really don't know what it is. It's pretty um, chill so I think it might be easy to photograph and it's pretty good size. It looks like it's about an inch uh, from its eyeballs to its tail and so I do not have the uh the extension tubes on i've got the um, of course the canon r6 the mikey mk320 flash a diffuser and the rf 100 millimeter macro and i think i'm going to try to shoot at f11 so uh let's get this party started shall we this bug has some awesome antennae it was just on a car at work get off of me I want to take your picture. All right, you chill a little bit, Mr. Bug. And I will attempt to, I guess I should turn the camera on first. All right, let's send you back this way a little. Oh, not on me, thank you. All right, I love his antenna. I, I hope that with the limited depth of field, I'll be able to see the antenna. But I have a feeling. He's going to jump off of the edge there. Okay. <laughs> Every time I push you back, he gets on my thumb. He's like attached to the man, attached. <gasps> Did he fly? He flew. Okay. This is slightly problematic. I think it'll be okay. Oh, I, I wasn't able to see what his eyes look like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I got him in the air on that shot. 100%, look at that. It, that's, that's awesome. A, I got a shot of it as it flew off of my finger. In pretty decent focus. And with none of it cut off. Okay, that is cool. Definitely we'll be sharing that photo. I think, I, I think it's in focus. All right, little dude, stay in the middle. Please don't fly. Uh, flying's okay, just as long as he doesn't fly. I love that. He puts his wings out and, and prepares to launch, and then he launches. And he crashes. And he's not very good at flying. Here is the photo that you saw me make of the little bug as it was on my finger, and then it took off right as I was making a photograph. Here's another shot. Whenever it got ready to fly, it would open up the covers over its wings and extend its wings, and this would take a little bit of time, and then it would take off. And here is another photograph. And after it got done flying, it took it a while to fold its wings completely up. And you can see here the wings are not completely covered. Here it is once again getting ready to take off. Really happy with these photos. Some of my best, I think, so far in the product photography studio. And look at those amazing antenna on this thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's some sort of beetle or maybe, I, I really don't know. Hopefully you folks will know and maybe you can leave something in the comments about what sort of insect this is. But one thing's for sure, it was a lot of fun to photograph it because look at these amazing poses that I was able to capture of this amazing insect. Okay, it's gonna take two hands to get rid of this guy, it appears. Okay, down there, there you go. All right, one down. Well, we have just kind of put the snail in the product photography studio and we've been kind of chilling out and watching a YouTube video on Heather's phone and the snail has come out. So I'm going to attempt to get a shot of this awesome looking little creature right now. I think with this subject, if I attempt to change the direction that it's going, like I do with bugs, it'll just draw back up into its shell. So 
That's the bad news. The good news is, at, at this moment, it's coming right at me. Here are a few photographs of this amazing snail. It's just crazy to think about what it would be like to be this creature. Can you imagine if this was what you looked like? What a completely alien looking life form these are. And I guess slugs are kind of the same way, but I really enjoy photographing these snails. This is the second snail that I've photographed since I kind of have revamped my excitement about macro photography recently. Well, I really did not think that uh, Gary was going to come out of his shell for, oh, and he's coming out of a shell right now on my hand uh, for our photo shoot, but we put him in the product photography studio and he did come out and, and I was able to get a few shots and now he's trying to come out on my hand, which I'm going to make him draw back up because Gary, I'm going to put you right there and I hope you have a great life. Thanks for the photo shoot. Hello, uh, another day at work, another bug. This is like a, it looks like an ant, but it has wings on it. And I haven't been seeing these at work. And then today I saw this one and I said, okay, that's pretty cool and captured it. And then a few minutes later, I saw several more, probably 10 or so. And I saw some that look like this without wings, but I never did capture one of those. So anyway, this is an unusual little bug, maybe a red ant. Maybe a future queen, I don't know, but I'm gonna take a picture of it. Before I took my photographs of the strange winged ant-like creature, I took a test photograph, and on this particular occasion, the test photograph was of Heather's beautiful eye, and I know I've shared a picture of her eye recently, but I like this one a little bit better, so I thought I would share it. We think this is a carpenter ant, and that day at work I saw five or six of them, and then the next day I didn't see any, and then the day after that I saw probably a hundred. And it really ran around and was difficult to photograph, and then in the video clip you just saw it settled down for just a moment, and I got this shot, and then... Honey, where's the bug? I don't know. It flew out of our product photography studio and is somewhere in the house. So on this one, we will not be showing you the release on the back porch, but I'm pretty sure I got some decent photos of it. Well, I appear to not be able to go to work without bringing home a bug now. Um, and today I found the most awesome jumping spider and I failed to catch it. I, I'm trying to be really delicate when I'm trying to catch these insects so I don't damage them and uh, I just could not catch the jumping spider. I thought I had it on my hand, which meant I probably could have easily gotten it into this container, and then it fell off into a gravel parking lot, and it was just this beautiful gray jumping spider, and you don't get to see it. But I did catch this other little bug, and uh, I'm excited to photograph it. He's cute. He's green with spots. I think this little insect is called the spotted cucumber beetle. What a fitting name for this little bug. And these things can fly. So I only got to photograph it for just a short amount of time. And I wasn't really happy with any of the shots that I got, but I shared my two favorite ones with you and here they are. Where's Bug? Bug! Well, that's two bugs in a row that have escaped from the photo studio and have ended up somewhere in a room full of camera gear and computers, and I don't know where it's at. So uh, I like to uh, make a little bit of footage of releasing the bug outside on the back porch, but uh, unfortunately that's two in a row who have decided they want to live in my camera gear suite. 
So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the photos and uh, I'm sure I will be catching some more bugs and doing more of these bugs from work videos. Bye bye. Here is another bonus photograph for you. This is a Shasta daisy. Heather and I planted these in a pot on the back porch last year. They grew all summer long and they survived the winter and they are back. And you can even see, if you look really close, a very, very tiny bug on this bloom. I love the look of blooms when they're just about to open and I thought I would share this photo with you now.